hey everyone this is just a tech and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i have some important news and announcement for all of you guys those who are interested in the icloud bypass activation lock in the future and in the current scenario on the device that support the checkerin jailbreak now have many things have been changed in the upcoming ios update now you should guys thinking that the icloud bypass is still working on the 14.5.1 but that is not the case i am talking about the upcoming update that is the 14.6 yes in the upcoming updates many restriction from the apple has been applied to patch the icloud bypass on several devices and the variants so i will explain you what are the changes and how you can prevent that and bypassing the icloud activation lock screen in the future also so make sure you watch full video till the end and share with all of you guys so that everyone got to know that how the things will work and this video for all of you guys those who are having the gsm devices and the meid device and if you have a normal device and you care about the jailbreak in the future also so watch the video carefully because this video contains so many important stuff that will help you in the future for jailbreaking and the icloud bypass with the sim network like if you have a iphone 5s iphone 6 to the iphone x that all these models that support the check range jailbreak you can easily apply this method and save your jailbreak and the icloud bypass status on all this version or the old version that will help you to run the sim card on your icloud bypass device and other icloud services and make this icloud bypass and jailbreak possible in the future also with the, all these services so that's why i'm saying you this video is very helpful and very important for all of you guys so let me just go to my computer screen and show you the complete step by step process all right now in this process we will use the sh sh blobs and if you are already familiar with that you know this thing will help you to downgrade with any ios version that is unsigned if you save the blobs previously now first you need to go to my blog so you can just google it and you will get my blog link or you can just check the description link also now here you will see my telegram channel and the group link and other social media accounts so you can follow that because i have posted the very important information there so you will get all the notification and early update on my channel so make sure you follow that now on the 17th on may and the earlier days i have posted some important update regarding this issue on my channel and the group so let me just show you what exactly that and then we can proceed now when I got an update on the iOS 14.6 beta that there is some issue with the iCloud bypass thing you will see that when they release the RC beta version of the 14.6 now after this release i have tested so many tools on this version and all the tools get failed to get the untethered bypass and even the sim is not working in the paid and even the free tools is not working properly because this is the rc wilt and there are so many changes apple made in this version they have passed the gsm baseband activation in this version so you will not get the full untethered bypass with the sim working in the gsm devices only the meid works fine i have also posted on the youtube community section so that everyone get to know in this post i have already mentioned that the ios 14.6 rc build is out so after the next week probably we can see that the stable version of 14.6 so do not update to the 14.6 or rc build for till and current situation because many things has been changed in the gsm bypass in 14.6 as apple patched the basement activation in the 14.6 so in the paid tools the gsm 7 to x models will not work so just stay away from the 14.6 and for the meid device like iphone 5s to iphone x all the tools that having the paid subscription like i remove or checkmate or mina meid that is working on the 14.6 very well so you can update to that in the meid device but still i am recommending you do not update to the 14.6 whether you have a gsm device or a meid device just stay away from the 14.6 until we can see the stable exploit for the 14.6 also so all the developers are currently working on it so you will see some good news if it happen otherwise stay away from the 14.6 because as for now there is no exploit for the 14.6 for the gsm bypass with sim working and completely untethered and the stable version because apple is trying to stop all this icloud bypass stuff on all these devices so i have a solution that i've came up with that you can easily save this jailbreak status in the future also and you can also buy bypass the icloud activation lock on gsm and meid with the sim working and icloud services working so let me just show you how we can do that now yesterday again apple surprisingly dropped a new update that is the 14.7 beta 1 
and in that I have tested some tools with the iCloud services working and the sim working on the 14.7 and surprisingly everything will work but with the OTA update and you can update from the settings from the 14.6 to the 14.7 and then the sim will work but we cannot trust this beta release as it is the initial release and in the some weeks or in the some days there are some other beta release also so in that the apple will try to patch that also so we cannot show that the in the future update of the 14.7 stable version the sim will work or not or the iCloud services will work so now I have told you everything that has been issues with the 14.6 and 14.7 with the iCloud bypass devices. Now the solution of all this is the SHSH blobs that I help you to downgrade. If you accidentally update to the 14.6 and 14.7 in the future as the stable release and the 14.5.1 will be unsigned. So you can easily downgrade to the 14.5.1 with the help of SHSH blobs. Currently the 14.5.1 is signed and the 14.6 RC is released on the 17th of May so we can expect that in the next week or in upcoming days the 14.6 stable version will be out and then the old version that is the 14.5.1 will be no longer signed so you cannot downgrade or you cannot restore to that version if the latest version is signed and the old version is unsigned so that's why it's very important to save the SHSH blobs for the 14.5.1 for the all the devices that support the check ring jailbreak it's very important if you get late or see this video after a week or when the 14.6 is out and the 14.5.1 is unsigned you will get late and you cannot save the blobs on that time also on the three tools you will see the ios 14.7 and the other beta updates for the 14.6 all right now to save the shsh blobs for your device you just need to go to my blog again and where you will find the two website link both the website link works great and same so you can use any of the website to save the blobs so i will show you both the website like how you can save that blobs on both these websites it's very easy now the first website is shsh host and the other one is dss saver now in order to save the blob the process is same for the iphone 5s to iphone x and other ipad model that are support with the check ring jailbreak now first you need to get the ecid hex value and you have to just paste it here so for that just open the three tools or you can also use the itunes and after that just connect your device and then you will see the ecid number so just click on that and copy that and after that go to that website again and just paste it here and in the iPhone model you have to select the correct iPhone model uh, so make sure that you can select the GSM or global as per your model if you select the wrong model the blobs will not save properly and it will create issues in the future so I have an iPhone 7 GSM model so I will select from the list now in the iOS section you have to select the all signed version so it will show all the iOS version that is currently signed like 14.5.1 and the other betas now I am still repeating if you see this video after a week or at the time that the iOS 14.5.1 is unsigned this method will not work and it will show you your validity of the blog is not valid so make sure that you save the blog right now after watching this video now on the app nonce and the generator value just set a default and complete the captcha now click on the last option that is my SHS directory now here you will get all the signed SHS blocks for your device now I have saved the old blobs also like 14.1 and 14.2 that's why it's showing this if you are using this first time you will only get the signed version like 14.5.1 and other beta now the valid blobs will only work if the current iOS version is signed if it get unsigned in future and you use this video to save the blobs it will not work and showing you that the validity is over and then it's not valid and useless so make sure that you save the blob at the current time after watching this video now after you save it you have to just save this file any way you want do not delete this file now this file is include very important information like api tickets for your ios version that is signed so this will help you to downgrade in the future with the generator value and the app nodes value and it will be very helpful in future if you suddenly update to the 14.6 or 14.7 or any ios version and you want to go back to the 14.5.1 and downgrade to that now the next website is TSS Saver. It is also work the same. You have to just copy the ECID number and select your model and save your blobs. Now you will get a link of your blobs so you can save it on the notepad and you can access this link anywhere you want. Now here you will get the list of all the saved blobs like in the previous year we have seen on the SHS host server and this is the same in the TSS server also. So just click on that you will get the two files here. So this is work the same you can save it any of the file or you can just copy the zip file and download the same all files at the same time. 
So just click on the download zip and save your location. After that you will get the zip file, you can extract it and you will get all your blobs according to your iOS version. So both these website work same so you can use any of the website you want and it will save your SSS blobs properly. Now for some global models you need to copy the board configuration also like if you have a GSM model it will not ask you the board configuration but for the MEID models or a global model you need to enter the valid board configuration otherwise the blobs will not work. So let me just show you how you can do that. So first copy the hex version and after that you will see it asking me for the board configuration for my iPhone 6s. I've connected the different model. So just open the three tools and see the detail device details and you will get the board configuration here. So just copy that and paste in the website and the other process is similar. So I have selected my board configuration and you can see the same board configuration you have to enter that otherwise your blouse will not work and it will not save properly. Now select that and other process is same just we did in the last time. So this is how you can save your SH SH blobs easily with these website. I have shown you each and everything with all the simple step to the detailed video. I hope you get all this thing very clear. So make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button and share this video with all your friends so that they will also save the blobs and get your device done in the future also. Now to retrieve the blob it's very simple you have to just click on the retrieve button and enter your ECID number and then your save blob will be appear. So you can download it anytime anywhere you want from the website. And when the iOS 14.6 will be out for the public, I will make a dedicated video like how you can downgrade from iOS 14.6 or 14.7 to get back to the 14.5.1 very easily on your Windows machine using this blob. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.